Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes! So we are back with Ukulele on the PlayStation 4. And today, we're going to carry on doing our stupid car toss missions. Hopefully, I can do it in one. Now, a little tip for you, so I don't have to say it whilst I'm doing it, because I probably won't talk much during this mission. But if you see random, like, orange gems, they are worth five points. If you see them sort of, like, hovering between the tracks, like, like you're going to fall, just go off the edge of the track, and as soon as you touch the orange gem, press cross, and you sort of like, you, it's like you're going to fall, but then you jump, you know, that's how you get them, just in case you're wondering, you know, because they are in very dodgy places, and they are quite risky to get, but yeah, let's uh, try this again, if you fall down a hole, you have to do the whole mission again, we need 100 gems, don't we, I think he said, I can't remember now, alright, there you go, so you want to sort of do something like that, and then full a bit, and then crop, oh shit, Oh shit, I feel like I've... Uh... Oh, oh, I'm, I'm messing up. I don't normally do this bad. <laughs> oh! Flamethrower dudes are the worst. Ah! <laughs> I'm dying on everything. Just give me the benefit of the doubt. Just let me, just let me, let me try this again. If I die too many times, I'll cut it out and we'll just, you know... I'll just add in, I'll add in the one that I do it correctly. <laughs> hoo -wee. I love his voice. It's not even his voice. He doesn't have a voice, but I like the voice I've given him. Ah, oh, I jumped too quick. That's what I wanted to do. I actually didn't even know you could uh, hit these guys. Oh, Jesus. You, you have got room for mistakes. It, it pretty much depends on uh, how many times you get hit, you know. If you collect enough gems, then you can, you can afford to make a few mistakes, you know. But don't always go for the orange ones. Sometimes it's, it's just not worth it, you know. Oh, shit. I don't know if I'm going to get 100. I might have messed up too many times. I did I did it! Yes! <laughs> Yeehaw! Nice one, partners! You fucking legends! Ah, oh, lovely. Ah, oh, oh, I love getting those out of the way. <laughs> Hoo-wee! What a ride! Of course, riding the tracks was even more exciting back in the good old days. But I'll take what I can get. Y'all don't know how lucky you is with these checkpoints and speed bursts you see in my day. Uh, yeah, very interesting, Kartos, but we better run. Lots of stuff to do and things to collect. Thank goodness that's over. I was about to die of boredom. <laughs> what a bunch of arseholes. Right, uh, let's have a think. What have I done? I think I might have done everything that we can do. I think it might be time to finally expand this world. Oh, actually, let me show you guys where one of the ghosts are. If you want to find the ghost, head to Kartos, and then just come over here. It's probably better when you get the Bubble Buddy, or whatever it's called. Which allows you to, like, swim underwater. But if you come over here, and drop down here, just press square. And then triangle around here somewhere. Somewhere around here. Where are you? Where are you, you little devil? I don't know why uh, Laylee keeps... Oh no, quick, quick, quick! I've never drowned in this game, so I'm not actually sure what happened. Let's have a look. If you, if you hover around here, you'll see. Ah, oh, there he is. What? Is a little so-and-so moving around? There we go. I actually found him by accident, this one. It's probably the, the, the case for most of them. I found most of these ghosts by mistake. But yeah, we're going to head outside and we are going to upgrade this world. And then we're going to be... 
there's going to be two sections that are going to unlock. One section we're not going to bother going to yet. Because you could do a few things in there. But it's best to go to the bigger area first. Because then we can get everything done in there at one. Otherwise we're going to be back and forth wasting time. So we're going to... Re oh! Okay. Oh! Stop missing quills. I mean personally I would leave all the quills right now. I wouldn't even bother with them. But we need them to upgrade our... Uh, Upgrade Yuka and get new skills, you know. So we actually do have to collect a few. I think the next set... I know you need 100 for the shield. And I think you need 60 for the ones before that. Or maybe 80. And then 60s for the ones below that, I think. Damn, the kids are outside my house going batshit insane in the playground. So if you guys can hear that, I do apologise. You probably shouldn't be able to hear it because the microphone's in a good position. But sometimes it just catches them a little bit, you know. It's a bit early for a break time anyway. I mean, it's 10.42 and they've been out there since 20 past 10. They've only been in school for an hour. What do they need a break for? Get back in the classrooms. I swear that school spends 90% of the time playing. When I went to the school, fucking terrible school. Worst school you'd ever go to. But when I went to the school, like back in the good old days, you know. <laughs> back in the 90s. The, um... What was I going to say? The, uh, we never got any kind of like fun stuff. The only time we ever did anything fun was when it was nearly the summer holiday. You know, we would like get to watch a DVD or some shit like that. Right, let's upgrade this world. You'll need five of us pages to expand this world. Do you want to expand Glitter Glades Glacier? Yes, I do. I need to stop rubbing my nose. I apologise if it's bothering you. Obviously, you're probably spending most of the time watching the game, but for anyone staring at my face, I apologise. <laughs> oh, it feels so weird being like this. So this place we're going to go into now, this is where you will find the second world boss. There is also quite a few things. I think you can get the play coin inside this place. You can also get the health upgrade. And I think the power upgrade might be in here as well. Yeah, this is where you're going to be spending the majority of your time up inside this castle right here. Is that it? We spend our pages on a key. <laughs> now this one, we're going to do this later. Ooh, a second ice key. Well, two is better than one. What a rip-off. I was expecting an extra con continent. Me too when I first did it. But uh, yeah, we're going to go to that second bit after. Because if you go there now, you can't actually get everything. If you go there later, there's going to be... We actually need another special move before we can go there that we're going to learn in the swamp, I think. And it'll allow, it will allow us to get another page. I'm not actually sure where the uh, upgrade for the uh, power is in this one. It might be inside the castle as well. I can remember getting it in there. It must be in there. Yeah, but we're going to have to eat some honey so we can roll up this icy slope. Am I fully healed? Am I got top health? Yeah. Ah, shit. Okay. Right. So uh, don't don't start sliding along the next hill because you won't have enough honey on you. You're going to have to come over here first. Yeah, so you would have run out of honey halfway up and then you'll slide all the way back down. Most likely fall over the edge and have to do all of this again. So uh, make sure you come over here first and top up your honey body. I like how he licks it and then his body turns all honey-fired, you know. It's not even like he licks it and then spreads it over his body. Boing, 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 boing. You can get the honey over there, but you can easily... You can easily skip it. We'll get those quills later. 
I'm surprised the key doesn't have a face. And a voice. <laughs> a voice. It just reminds me of Pokemon. It's all it reminds me of is Pokemon, how they all talk. Actually, no, even, even Pokemon say normal words. At least Pokemon know how to say their name. The characters in this game just they speak random crap. <laughs> it, it doesn't bother me that much, though. Isometric Palace. Isometric Palace. Alright, so if you want to get any tonics, you can speak to this woman here. Uh, I can't remember which way leads to the boss, because I don't want to do the boss yet. Now, uh, the health upgrade is going to be there, you see? Because what's going to happen, we're going to help somebody, and once we've helped him, a bunch of vents are going to turn on, like this vent right here, and it will allow you to go to different sections of the castle. That's why we're going to go to that other section later, because there's a vent in the other area that will be turned on by this area. So we're going to do it all together at the same time. I think it, I think it might be involved with the first, the second boss. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is in here, actually. Right, so we're only going to do this bit right here, because if I remember correctly, let's have a look. Let's have a look in here a minute. Yeah, this bit right here, it leads to another page. But the page there, we cannot get until we've been to the fourth world, I think. Because uh, we need to get a special kind of in invisibility uh, cloak sort of thing. But we can do this one right here, so we're going to do this one for now. Now, uh, it doesn't look like we could do this one either, actually. No, we need to wait for the vent to be turned on, so we can't do nothing in this area yet. We're going to have to come back here later. I think we, it might be beneficial if we just do the second boss now. Boing, boing, boing. Let's have a look in here. Gran Turismo Sport Beater update. Try and be quick on this bit, because if you're not quick, you'll get blown over to a little like ledge over there. And it will lead you back to the beginning. Right, first. Just going to get all these boxes out of the way. I think this might be some sort of... Yeah, there's going to be some sort of little like target range here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think you have to hit them all to, uh... You can't actually aim in this bit. You have to use the uh, ledge as your advantage. There you go. For some reason it doesn't let you aim. I guess it's to add difficulty or something. Obviously it didn't really add much difficulty, did it? I don't even get a page for doing that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I feel right cheated. Right cheated. Ah. Oh no. Oh wait, hang on a minute. Let's have a look. Oh, oh no. Oh, if this is what I think it is, this is a um. Oh, it's a question video. That page won't unlock until you answer like a little mini quiz, similar to Quackers. Oh. Fucking hell, right. You're gonna have to... You have to pay attention to everything in this room. You're gonna have to remember how many barrels there are. So one... How many chests there are. How many skulls there are. You have to remember what's underneath him. That's one of the questions he asks you. What's underneath him? And it's a chest. So there's one... Jesus, these bloody things are annoying. You can easily find the answers online if you want to just like, cheat, but obviously I can't do that because I'm on YouTube. <laughs> uh, one, two, three. Three chests. One, two. Two crates and one, two, three. I counted that one. Four. 
four fingers, I think. I don't know. We're just going to have to wing it. We'll just wing it. We'll see how we do. Hello, explorers. I see you've done well to get this far. We've had enough puns for one game, thanks. Open your cage and prepare to be collected. Not sh not so fast. A page like my myself <laughs> isn't so easily collected. To be deemed worthy, you'll have to pass my mega quiz. Alright, but your fake tan's no way near good enough to be a quiz host. Ho <laughs> ho! Give three correct answers in a row and I'll open the cage. Are you in it? To win it? Oh, it's a little bit like the lottery in England. Right, so we've got to answer three in a row. Obviously, he's going to ask you a couple of repeats, you know. So eventually, you're going to you're going to worm out the wrong answers, and you're going to just get through it anyway, you know. Yes. Excellent. Welcome to my mega quiz. My researchers tell me you've come all the way from Shipwreck Creek. Lovely green space round there. How many treasure chests are in this room? Oh shit! What was it? Hang on. Hang on, what was it? It must be four. It was two, wasn't it? Two? Ah! <laughs> Shut up. I'm going to foul so hard on this. What's directly under my cage? Ah, there we go. We know that one. Great guess. <laughs> Next question. Most of them will be guesses. Please ask me the chess one. How many floating barrels are in this room? Ah, oh, no. Uh, one, two, maybe two. Zero, then. What? It's not five? There ain't five floating barrels. Come on. Oh, I'm having a bad, having a bad day. Hopefully I get some repeat questions. Shut up, you two. Stop talking. How many quills are in this room? Zero. Great guess. Next question. Four. Take the number of pipes in the water, multiply them by the number of vents, and you get... I don't know how many pipes are in the water. I'm going to have to guess it. Uh, t uh, fucking... 10? I'm going to go with 15. Yes! That was a great guess. Well done. Next question. Hopefully it's one we've already heard. Like what is directly beneath him. What colour are the pipes in this room? Bran? Yellow? Oh, fuck. I'm not going to guess right again. I'm going to go with yellow. Cross your fingers, Wolf Morphets. Oh, shit! What a random fucking question. What, what colour are they? I can see them on the wall. They're yellow, isn't they? They're probably red now, aren't they? Shit. What a bloody arsehole. <sighs> okay then. How many torches are inside this room? I've got this one before. I think it was seven. Yeah, great guess. Next question. Take the number of pipes in the water, multiply them by the number of vents, and you get it. it was 15, wasn't it? Another great guess. Well done. So I mean, eventually you're gonna you're gonna get enough together to know the answers, depending on what this is. How many quills are? Ah, oh, fantastic. There we go. We've done it. Why? Can we accept that answer? I'm just checking with the voice in my head. <laughs> I'll do that pretty often. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Got it. I'll relay that info to the contestants. 
Snooker, why you late? <laughs> you both came here as losers. Son of a bitch. But you're leaving as winners. Congratulations, you have won Mega Quiz. Phew, I'm pretty sure that's the last of the quizzes in this adventure. It, it fucking ain't lately, trust me. There's at least two more that I know of. Ah, oh, fantastic. We pretty much had to flip and do a bunch of uh, platforming just to uh, have the luxury of taking part in an annoying quiz. Right. I think that's all we can do in this area. I don't think there's anything else to do. We can't do the other stuff yet because we don't have the correct abilities. I think we can fly straight over to the door. There we go. Right, I'm going to have to end the video now anyway. We didn't get much done because I failed on that quiz a bit. Oh yeah, thanks for watching Wolf of Vets. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Next time, we might do the s second world boss. I'll have to see our, uh, how far we get. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!